once you've assessed the range of motion of the shoulder girdle both on the right and the left, you can compare and determine whether of any of these directions is restricted. So let's say in this case that we have a restriction in retraction. Now we can use joint mobilization principles to treat that restriction and we're targeting the joint between the clavicle and the sternum. So the sternoclavicular joint is where most of the osteoarticular motion is happening to retract. Between the scapula and the thorax, we don't have a true joint, we just have soft tissue approximation. So it's less likely that the restriction is coming from there. So the hand positioning is very similar. Our fingers are on the clavicle and on the scapula, and we're gonna find that end range or the uh, restriction, and we're gonna go back and forth, emphasizing the fingers on the clavicle. That's why we're trying to move more and seeing if this technique increases our uh, retraction range. For dosage, we can uh, stick with the 10 to 15 repetitions uh, done two to three times and reassess, see if that gives us any therapeutic effect.